Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video of Henry's World. Today we are going to be looking through my dad's old baseball card collection. Uh, we have a various amount of different cards in these bags. There are four bags and then this bag also has some packs. So we're going to go look through each bag one by one and yeah, just kind of show you the cards. Uh, so I think we'll start out with this bag. So yeah, let's hop right into it. So here is our first little bag. Now there's tons of different cards in here from eras of all uh, times. We have cards from the 70s, uh, 80s, and some from the 90s. As I believe these ones we are seeing here, I'm not quite sure, I think these are 1981. There's a football card in there. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of different cards. There's a Cecile Cooper from 1977. That's a really, really old one. Some football cards uh, for those guys, for you guys that like football. And then there's cards like these that are kind of cut. Uh, these are from my dad's childhood, so some of these may be in worse condition. This one's cut. It's Ray Burns. Yeah, it looks like that might have been like out of a newspaper or something. Yeah, and there's just a bunch of these really old cards. There's another Ray Burns. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty cool. After we go through these cards and see if we can find anything cool, um, there's a Jim Morrison. Um, I will take a look at only the best cards as we have a Brewers Future Stars, which is a rookie of John Flynn, Ed Romero, and Ted, and Ned, and not Ted, Yoist. That's really cool. Sorry, Yoist. And then, yeah, we have some different guys. Uh, that guy has a cool name, Ted. Kabika, yeah, but then there's just tons of these old cards, uh, these are pretty cool, here's another one of these cut ones, Larry Heisel, I believe, and then there's also ones like these, which are, I don't know what band this is, I want to say this is Queen, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, there's cards that are kind of strange like this, this one's from 1978, then we have a Ken Singleton, Tommy Davis, Bobby Floyd, Fred Stanley, Terry Foster, Fred Norman. Ooh, this one's actually pretty cool. I like the ones like these uh, that say traded because I think it's just kind of funny that they just put traded on there. Now, of course, Tops does not do that. Uh, Don Astley. <laughs> uh, and that bag. And I'm not sure if I'm going to open this. Oh, there's actually a bag inside the bag. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use this. Uh, I'm going to open this little pack here, pack, pack, uh, but it's the Nolan Ryan Milestones baseball card set, and then I think this is in the checklist, this is in career stats here, but then back in the day, my dad went to this game, it was on September 11th, 1993, and that's his ticket stub, so it was $13 to get in, that's insane, uh, but then there's this little thing, this notepad, that says, that has a little bit strange handwriting. Okay, cards distributed September 11th, 1993, during Nolan Ryan week. Arlington Stadium, Rangers 7, Twins 4. And maybe at the end of this video, I'll look up the game and see if I can find any cool stats or anything about the game. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that towards the end. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna clean these cards up and let's get into the next bag. So next up we have this little bag and this one has a bunch of different packs in it which I think if we do open these we'll do them in a separate video but here we have some various packs or not various these are all the same we have some packs of upper deck co the collector's choice and then uh, I'm not quite sure these are 1990 upper deck cards we have one two three four, five, and six packs here. I think that it's really cool that these packs retailed for only 99 cents. That's crazy these days. Now, I mean, you'd be in, I mean, you'd have to get something on major clearance to find really even anything at a dollar. So I think these are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was it for that bag. Also, I'll have a little poll somewhere up in one of these corners. Um, if you guys want to see me open these packs, then I will gladly do it because I think I am planning on doing it anyway so if you guys want to see a video on that make sure to vote up on the poll on your opinion but yeah that is it for those packs and if I set these aside 
we can hop into this bag. Ryan, 5,000 strikeouts. That's pretty cool. Then this Roger Clemens. I'm oh, how about this? A really cool 19, I want to say 81 tops, Bob Gibson. That is really, really cool. How about that? We got a Jim Rice, another really cool one. I'm pretty sure he's in the Hall of Fame. This is a 77 tops card. We got a streak of good cards going here. We have Don Sutton. That is a really, really cool one. I'll try to give you guys some prices down in the corner if I can. And then we have an Oakland World Series 1973. Is this Raleigh Fingers? I think it is Raleigh Fingers. That is super cool. Ooh, another good one. We have a Steve Garvey. That's a cool one. We have this nickname one of Nat, or Fred Kendall, also known as Nat Lalee. And we have a few more cards here in a little bag. Is oh my goodness. No way, guys. This is a Hank Aaron 1975, I believe, Topps card. What? It has some red staining on it, but that is awesome. What a 1975 Hank Aaron. That is super duper cool. Whoa, that is awesome. I'm going to set this one aside. That is really cool. Okay, so I did clean up the cards, but I also found that we missed some in that stack. And we start with an NL All-Star, Dave Parker. That is super cool. He had some really good years. Let's see if it has any stats on here. Yeah, it's a pretty early Dave Parker card. That is pretty cool. I'll put that one back there. Um, then we have a George Foster. He had some good years with the Reds. Good. Oh, no. We have a Mike Schmidt behind this one. It got the worst of that gum, but that is a pretty, pretty cool card. And then we have this Phillies team card, which I believe that is gum or some putty. Some of these cards aren't in the greatest of shape. This one's actually in pretty nice shape. This really cool Reggie Jackson. That is pretty awesome. Oh, and then we have a Bobby Mercer and Pete Rose All-Star card. That is super cool. Wow, that's awesome. And then we have a 1973 Batting Leaders. Rod Carew and Pete Rose. Then a Reggie Jackson and Billy Williams. Then we have another one of these. Lou Brock and Tommy Harper. This is really, really cool. Then Tony Perez. Uh, Perez appears to be stuck to a Rod Carew All-Star card. These are some cool cards. And then we have a Lou Pinella. He was pretty good. Then we have a Mike Schmidt Record Breaker card. So we get one uh, good condition, Mike Schmidt, and then a Paul Molitor All-Star card. We start with this Bob Watson, but I don't think this is just any Bob Watson. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. Okay. What we have here is an uncut sheet of cards. That is really cool. We got Rennie Stinnett, Bob Watson, Dan Ford, and Butch Weiniger. These are from... 1976, uh, a Steve Stone All-Star card. And then we have a Hank Aaron, the Hank Aaron Special. If you turn it over, it shows his milestone home runs. That is pretty cool. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video of Henry's World. I enjoyed looking through my dad's baseball card collection. I found some really awesome stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too, because I know I had fun looking through it and finding some pretty awesome cards, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all, all enjoyed this video of Henry's World, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!